I think it'd be a good opportunity to show who is the best 145 fighter around here. I've been wanting to prove that I was the best in this division. What better way than a tournament? I'm gonna sound too cocky, but I think I'm the best way to fight around right now. Basically, I started off with street fighting. Raw street fights at a cage. Found out real fast that one worked. Got with Mark McClain. Mark McClain basically transformed me into a, a whole new fighter. A mutant, as he calls. What I bring to the tournament is excitement. Nicknamed me the Barbarian. It's how I fight. It's barbaric. I'm out there to finish fights, get them over with quick. You have to be ready for every and anybody, and I feel like I am. That now I'm going to show everybody what I really can do. My game plan is basically the same every time I go out there. I'm going to get in your face. You know, I'm going to take it to you. I'm going to bring the fight to you. I think in the end, we all know I'm going to be getting my hand raised. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to go in there, hit him with some good sh not get hit, and then uh, get my hand raised at the end of the fight. Expect a, an exciting fight, my unique stand-up style, my footwork. Let's see some knockouts. Ah, oh, Kevin, here we go. It is our featherweight finale as we see Edric Dillard taking on Austin Midkiff. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out Edric Dillard. Making his way after his first win here tonight is Edric Dillard. He was cleared by the doctors, so what we have now is we have two minutes. If they split the rounds, we go to a third round for 90 seconds to determine the winner. This is it, Kevin. It's time for the tournament. The tournament finale. This is what this night is all about. Bringing back the tournament style format. Gonna be a great fight. Now, Edric Dillard, he is a wrestler. He has always had suspect cardio, but he has had some time in the back to relax, to get himself going. He feels, I think, that he is ready to go. He told me that he prepared for the tournament to be able to fight two times in one night. Yeah, Dillard is a power wrestler, not just a wrestler, he's a power wrestler. He uses power in everything he does, and his athleticism, which can be very exhausting on the body. He carries, as you can see, he carries a lot of muscle. Again, very easy to get tired in the cage. Now, this will be a very interesting matchup because Edric Dillard is probably the shortest person in here taking on Austin, who is over six foot three. Yeah, very tall, you know, the shortest fighter in the tournament against the tallest fighter in the tournament. So let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear to bring out Austin. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out his opponent tonight, Austin Midkiff. Austin. Austin Midkiff makes his way to the cage. Austin told me he has prepared extensively to be able to go tonight. Coming out of the way of Hans MMA, he feels that he has moved to this camp and this is what it's gonna take to win that title tonight. As we go to our tail of the tape, Edric Dillard, 24 years old, five foot eight, 144 pounds out of St. Louis, Missouri. Austin Midkip is six foot two, coming by way of O'Fallon, Illinois. There is a huge height and reach difference here. There is a huge height and reach difference, but everybody's the same height when you're flat on your back. And that's what Edric Dillard wants to do. He wants to put Midkip on his back as soon as possible. Midkiff told me that he wants to stay at distance. He wants to stay long. He wants to use that reach. The other thing that he has going for him is the, the amount of wrestlers that are at Hans MMA and some of the caliber can definitely help in a situation like this against Edric Dillon. Yeah, you had to know going into the going into the tournament that you might face Edric Dillard in the finals. So you definitely had to prepare for him also. The other big thing is that Edric Dillard's fight went the entire time. Austin was able to finish his in the first round. Oh, it is time. Let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for the 145 pound Shamrock Fighting Championships title. The winner will receive a three fight contract with Shamrock Fighting Championships tonight fighting out of the blue corner this evening.
He stands five feet, eight inches tall. He weighs in at 144.2 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Edric Dillard. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He stands six feet, two inches tall. Weighs in at 145.9 pounds. Fighting out of O'Fallon, Illinois, Austin Midkiff. Referee Mike England has the call for this fight. This is it. This is our finale of the 145 pound tournament. It will be two rounds at three minutes. If a third and final round is needed, it will be 90 seconds long. Austin already trying to stay very long. Austin switching stances. Not gonna make it easy for Dillard to get in on the legs. Dillard has a guillotine. Already gets the snap down here on Midkiff. You know, that was more Midkiff. Looking letting, for the letting, takedown. Yeah, closing the distance himself rather than Edric Dillard closing the distance. Exactly what we did not expect out of Midkiff. Midkiff doing a good job here of hand fighting from full guard. Yeah, Midkiff's just trying to keep the head of Dillard low so he can't posture and start landing strong punches. Those long legs of Austin here trying to work that high guard. Yeah, Midkiff trying to get the legs up around the shoulders of Dillard. Dillard's gonna try and posture up through that. Midkiff throws triangle. up a triangle. Dillard's gonna need the posture. That triangle is locked. Dillard. Dillard wants to keep the right arm on the right side of his body. He does not want to let Midkiff get that across the center line. That looks pretty tight, Jeremy. Oh! Austin Midkiff takes the win. Austin Midkiff is our new featherweight champion. Beautiful submission. He was fishing the whole time, trying to bring those knees up. Saw the opportunity, locked up that triangle. Was very calm when he didn't get the triangle finished right away. Worked to a better position, got a strong finish. What a fight. This is a brand new Austin Midkiff. This move to Hans MMA has done him a great world of good. As we see here, he throws on that triangle choke. Yeah, he goes under, with, uses, puts his right arm under the left leg of Dillard, cuts a better angle. You know, cutting the angle made that choke twice as tight and was, enabled him to get the finish. Again, this move to Hans MMA has done Austin an amazing amount of good. Yeah, he looked great in this fight. You know, we were a little surprised by the takedown attempt from Midkiff, the landing him on his back, but obviously he was very comfortable from his back getting the submission victory. So let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear for our final Ladies results. and gentlemen, this bout has ended one minute and 29 seconds of round number one. Your winner by triangle choke, Austin Midkiff. Austin Midkiff is your featherweight champion. As we see Arian Zekti tying on the belt, passing it down to Austin Midkiff. Beautiful job by Midkiff. He looked great in his first fight, great in his second fight. Definitely Midkiff looked amazingly fresh coming into this fight. What action, and we still have more to come, Kevin, as we get ready for our main card, and we'll be right back with more Shamrock FC right after this.